Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we are sharing a review of the new AIDA AMP modeling plugins, especially designed for the Mod Dwarf, that Mimic a Marshall JVM, an Igniter Tweaker 40 and a Fender Vibrolux. Actually we will stay focused on one of the three plugins issued by AIDA, which is called JCVM even if the basic concept and characteristics are valid also for the other plugins. You know that the most famous AI-based trainer and plugin is NAM. Well, if you follow my channel, you know that AIDA released his AI plugin similar to NAM few months ago. That plugin can be loaded in your Mac or PC but also can be hosted in the Mod Dwarf. Now AIDA has released three AI trained amps captured with different settings and gain levels and with different levels of detail that are perfect companion of the Mod Dwarf as they can be loaded in the Dwarf itself also with a complete guitar rig, I mean amp, IR and effects included. In fact these plugins are trained with different uh, captures at different gain settings, allowing real gain adjustment inside the model and for our convenience multiple quality levels are included, allowing optimum CPU usage. Now let's describe the signal chain I have used in the demo song so that I can share the settings I have used and how the plugin behaves in terms of sound quality, CPU load and latency. First of all the guitar goes into a simulation of a Boss SD1 distortion pedal that I have switched off for the comping part and switched on for the solo part. In fact the amp is set in the crunch channel and I have not changed the amp channel in the demo song but I have just used the SD1 for that extra push needed for the solo. Actually the amp is pretty reactive and you can play with the volume of your guitar to clean up the sound or to achieve higher distortion levels. One thing to notice is that the lead channel really adds a lot of noise to the signal and that's the main reason why I prefer to use the SD1 for the lead part. I mean in order to have a more noise free tone. Then after the amp I have loaded an IR of a vintage 30 cab, actually this is one of the IR included in my essential IR pack that you can purchase from my website if you are interested. After the IR loader I have placed a chorus and then two delays. Why two delays? Basically to simulate a ping pong delay with modulations. In fact I have set the two delays with different times in order to simulate a stereo ping pong delay. These are the settings used. Then the last effect in the chain is a stereo plate reverb that is pretty well sounding but actually I ended up not using it in the demo song in favor of the delays. I have used this signal chain for both the comping part and the lead tone of the demo song. For the lead tone I have the DS1 switched on, obviously the amp and the IR loader and then just the two delays, I mean the chorus and the reverb are switched off. Let's hear it. <laughs> To say that I really enjoy this tone, it has a kind of Eric Johnson flavor if you will and uh, it is pretty reactive to my touch. The delays are really lovely and the amp does uh, what it is expected to do, pushed a little bit uh, with the DS1. On the other hand for the comping part I have switched off the DS1 
switch the, on the chorus and the delay. Then I have double tracked the comping part, pumpotting the two takes hard left and right. And this is the result. <laughs> Here I think I have obtained a kind of Van Allen tone, if you will, pretty enjoyable, especially when I play chords. Now that we know the signal chain use and how it sounds, let's talk about processing power and latency. I have tried the signal chain aforementioned with both the portal plugin and without it, and always keeping the buffer size to 128 sample points so the lower buffer size possible in order to have the lower latency value. More info about the Porta plugin in my demo review of the Mod Dwarf. First of all, the latency. Using the portal it is around 10 milliseconds, where without the portal it is around 8 milliseconds. The portal would allow to lower the CPU usage but I found that with the AIDA plugin in the lower quality and without the portal, the CPU is around 68%, so totally usable. Where if you use the plugin with the quality set to medium and the without the portal, the CPU goes to 80%, where with the highest level of quality it goes around 90%, so almost not usable. Here the portal comes to help. As with the highest level of quality and with the portal plugin, the CPU stays around 77% and therefore usable. But the tax to pay here is the latency, as aforementioned. In fact, with the portal, you have 10 milliseconds of latency, and without it, you have 8 milliseconds. Now, in my opinion, it is worth to save latency without using the portal and using the AIDA at its lower level of quality, as actually the tone is still nice. And in fact the tones you have heard in the demo song were all done using the AIDA at its lower quality level. Of course 10 milliseconds would still be usable for me, but if I added for instance a wireless transmitter, well the latency could become not manageable so I prefer to keep it at its lower value possible. Before jumping to the conclusion, let me also mention that these plugins are available at the Mod Plugin Shop at a very reasonable price, in my opinion. Now, let's wrap up my findings and please notice that Mod has sent me the Dwarf for free and AIDA has allowed me to download their plugin for free too but they are not asking me to say anything and they have not reviewed this video before I uploaded it to YouTube. Well, I have to say that I enjoy this solution. The amp tones are nice, the modulation and time effects are nice too, really nice. And this solution is now pretty usable both in terms of signal chain we can build and in terms of latency. If I have to mention something to improve in this solution, well, I would mention the distortion effects. I mean, for my style of playing, I found that only the DS1 is usable, where the other simulation, especially the ones of the Tube Screamer, are not in line with my taste. If I may suggest something to AIDA, I would suggest them to create some nice AI trained tube screamer models with low CPU usage that can be nicely paired with their AI amps. Let me add that lately also NAM has been added as a plugin in the Dwarf. I'm still trying it and I will keep you informed about my findings in a future video. Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out my full review of the Dwarf in my channel and see you soon. Bye bye.